Let's go on an adventure. Hello and welcome to Capricious Conversations. Thank you for joining us today. You will notice that I have some new faces with me today. These are my good friends and these two are my cousins. Uh, but this is my good friend Israel, Caleb, and Jordan. Thanks guys for joining me today. It's yeah. super fun yeah. to be on the show. This is going to be pretty sweet. Yeah, it is going to be rad. <laughs> Today we are going to talk about something that I know that we all struggle with and you probably have not put a name to it, so I am going to help you with that today. And we're going to name it Irrational Impulses. And an irrational impulse is something that like you just get the urge to do and you know that if you actually thought about it, you would be like, wow, that would be the stupidest decision ever. Kind of like Jordan just now. So, I mean, like, <laughs> it's not such a big deal when it's your brother, but like, tell us about your oh, okay, impulses so. here. My best friend now, when I first met her, she had like her bangs would fall down in her face. And one time I just reached over and I went like that and I was like, that was inc extremely creepy, I'm sorry. <laughs> you I didn't just... know her at that point? No. Oh geez. We were in the same class though. That's horrible. That You're is a little bit creepy. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> My irrational impulses tend to be a little bit weightier, and it's it's those things, like, I guess I have those small ones, so, like, if I'm walking alongside the street with somebody, it could be any person, usually it's my brother, though, but it could be any person, I'll just, like, really want to just, like, hit them. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'll just be walking, be bobbing along, and I just want to be like, whoop, you know? <laughs> I've never done it, actually, but I just thought sometimes when I'm walking with somebody, I just want to hit them. I think the one, my impulse that I actually do, it's not, I guess it's irrational, but I still do it anyways. Yeah, yeah, uh, I do this one. <laughs> like, for example, today in one of my classes, I thought it'd be really cool to make the, <laughs> like, a, like some sort of sound like that, or something like, <laughs> and so I was like, oh, I should really do it, and the teacher was already mad at me, and... Uh, <laughs> I still did it, and I did it like ten times, and literally, like I was expecting the class to say something, and no one said anything. And I was like, that was not as satisfying as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Would have been way more satisfying if people had been like, oh my gosh, Israel. Yeah. I think sometimes it is like the the irrational impulse is an attention-seeking impulse, you know, because you're like, man, I could do this and everybody would notice and that would be hilarious. <laughs> like when I'm walking somewhere with a glass bottle in my hand, especially when I'm up high, I'm just like, I just want to throw it around. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, that'd be so much fun. I'd love to do that. Except mm -hmm. I never have a glass bottle when I want to do that, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. Sometimes even with just like plastic bottles, you just want to throw it. Yeah, I just want to check things. That's <laughs> I think it's because there's like a relief factor. So like throwing a glass bottle, like, psh, like it breaks and it feels, I don't know, for some reason it just feels good to do that. It's kind of cathartic. And I was like, I almost did that the other day. I had an Izzy bottle. And I was like, I really <laughs> just want to throw this. Ooh, wow, and I was about to, and I told the person next to me, I was like, I'm about to throw this Izzy bottle. And then I realized I couldn't do it because it was a school parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, there's little children around there, so. But, uh, you know, I think because what makes them irrational is the ramifications of the choice, right? Like, not the choice itself, because some of these things sound totally rational, and you're like, yeah, throwing a glass bottle is not that big of a deal. The ramifications of that choice, though, like, especially when you're up high, is that if it hits somebody yeah. or, you know, whatever the case, you end up having to clean up that glass bottle, and that is in no way satisfying. So, like, you have that momentary release of, like, yeah! And then, and then you realize, I'm going to have to do something about this when I throw it. It's going to be horrible. It's just, that's going to suck. I Which mean. kind of brings me to my, the big irrational impulses. Like, these I have all the time. When I'm up high and there's something down below, like a couch, you know, like, oh, uh, like on the second uh, story or something, or like third. I've even been on like the fifth story and I look down and there's a couch on the first floor and I'm like, I could hit that. If I jumped, I, th I think I could do it. And there's like that moment where you're like, I think I might. <laughs> you know? yeah. But again, like ramifications. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What if you miss? What if you like hit the back of the couch and you like break your legs? Or what if you just go straight through the couch because it's a fake couch? I honestly have had that thought. Oh my gosh. I've had, okay, I've had this impulse. At Disney World, mm -hmm. there's the Cinderella Castle. And there's like parts of it that kind of like poke out. And I'm just like, I could climb the castle. Oh, oh, yeah, climb the things. Or climbing. jump in the moat or something like that. It's, yeah. Like, here in Colorado, we have this amazing, amazing place called Casa Bonita, which if you've ever watched South Park, you might have seen the Casa Bonita episode. I'm here to tell you, guys, it is a real place, and it is super awesome. 
But in Casa Bonita, there's like a big swimming pool that, and there's cliffs. So cliff divers like actually jump off the cliffs and into the swimming pool. And seriously, every time I go, there you can go behind the waterfall on this little bridge. And every time I go, I'm like, I'm gonna jump off that, I'm gonna jump off that bridge, man. I'm gonna jump into that swimming pool. Yeah, sometimes when I have an irrational thing, I just want to do it. And sometimes I usually always do it. <laughs> it's true. It's true. That's how I feel. I hardly ever don't do it. Like, you don't like, fight those irrational My question is, what kind, of, like, wow. what kind of trouble do you get in if you jump into that water in Caspanito? That's a great that question. question. I know, I've seen people like start to walk in there and they're like, hey, don't do that. And that's it. And it's like, oh, okay, I shouldn't do this. And they just walk away. It's like, wow. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of a given that you shouldn't do it. Like, if you have to be told, like, that's kind of <laughs> There's something about that water that is, like, it's almost like a craving. It's very inviting. Yeah. It's, like, it's like this gorgeous teal blue color, and it smells good, and it's, like, warm water. It's probably because you're not supposed to go in it. Like, they don't let people in it, so you're probably like, I want to go in there now. I, what is that thing though that that when it's when you can't do it you're like oh, I really want to do that you, know? you want to go even though you know it's like stupid right <laughs> it's stu right. like I was like if you did do that like what would you wear when you left they would probably <laughs> kick you out of Cosmonita and like the thought of being kicked out of Cosmonita and not being able to go back is enough to keep me from jumping in the water but maybe one of these days I will be like, like if Cosmonita like god forbid if Cosmonita ever closes I'll go like the day before it closes and like jump off the bridge <laughs> into the waterfall yeah, yeah. I, I think I think that might be a little dangerous though because like they're professionals just jumping off from like 100, 100 feet Per, and they know how to get their bodies positioned so they won't hurt themselves. But, like, yeah. if you jump from, like, that bridge, that's, like, 50 feet from where the water is, you might, like, really hurt feet. yourself. I don't think it's 50, 50 feet. It's, like, 20 feet, maybe. I don't know. I it's still pretty high up. Time, I mean, it's, it's kind of high, but I don't know. I, I get you probably make it. You can make it. <laughs> yeah. So maybe. Maybe one of these days I will actually jump off that bridge. But I think we should all refrain from jumping off with stories on the couches. Yes. I, I think so if you're like jumping that. into moats. <laughs> I think if you're like 90 years old, you're like, hey, you know what? I'm 90 years old. What are they going to do? <laughs> Probably call the ambulance after you hit the ground. No, you're going to have a life alert on you. <laughs> <laughs> life alert. Ah! I like, fall and I, I can't get up. <laughs> Wait, when I say fall, I mean I jumped off and I can't get up. I purposely jumped up and almost killed myself. That's what I did. But I mean, hey, I'm 90. What are you going to do? <laughs> You only live once. <laughs> I think the ir irrational impulse, though, comes from, like, I mean, we talked about it sort of, like, things that might not be acceptable to a lot of society, mm -hmm. and it's, it's, I guess, not normal. It's a little bit weird. Mm -hmm. And so, and I think it is a little bit of, like, attention, but sometimes, like, even when you're by yourself, you just want to, like, scream. Like, for no reason. And just, you want to do it. And, yeah, I get that impulse a lot. Like, you just want to yell. And sometimes when people are around, they're like, why did you just do that? It's like, I don't know. It felt, it felt pretty good, though. I, just did. Yeah, I, I, I remember I remember when the Broncos won the Super Bowl, we went on Main Street because everybody was, like, screaming. And I was like, oh, man, this feels so good to scream about something. It was awesome. <laughs> like, I got to scream with a bunch of people. How, how often do you get to do that? Yeah. When like the Broncos win the release. Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, it's because I think people will judge you if you're just screaming for any other reason. But they'll probably just, like, like, oh, you're crazy. Bye. I yeah. wonder, though, like, so I think I think you're probably right. Like, the things that are forbidden, that you're like, man, something, I, that horrible, rebellious side of people tends to want to do those things. But then there's those things that are, like, obviously dangerous like jumping off of a fifth story onto a couch like what in the world makes us want to do something like that you know like I, I don't and I don't know what it is necessarily but I just think like um, is my brain trying to kill me or something like what the heck? I don't like you anymore <laughs> seriously sometimes you're just like that is the craziest thought yeah I think sometimes your brain remembers that you, when you get adrenaline, it's just like, man, we love that feeling when we had adrenaline. So let's get you some more adrenaline. Jump off a fifth yeah, story onto a couch. Yeah. Which is probably why people go jumping out of planes and bungee jumping and... They probably which have. I'm going to be yeah. very real with you. I would do all of those things. Like, the, you know, those swings on the arches in Utah, bungee jumping, skydiving. Heck yeah, man. Sign me up. I would totally do those. 
And maybe, I don't know, maybe people do that to kind of like stave off those, the more irrational ones. Mm -hmm. Cause like it's easier to jump from a very high place when you have a parachute. <laughs> Faulty parachute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. In the comments, let us know what some of your irrational impulses are. Thank you for sharing this video with all of your friends. Let's go on an adventure.